In September 2018, a peculiar event caught the attention of the global community, the sudden and unexplained closure of the Sunspot Solar Observatory in New Mexico. The event sparked widespread speculation, particularly because it coincided with reports from amateur sky watchers of unidentified flying objects near the Sun. However, what many did not know at the time was that this was not an isolated incident. Six more solar observatories around the world were also mysteriously shut down around the same time. The Sunspot Solar Observatory, located in New Mexico, was abruptly evacuated and closed by federal authorities on September 6, 2018. The closure lasted for about 10 days, during which time little information was released to the public. This secrecy led to rampant speculation, with theories ranging from national security threats to mysterious encounters. The official explanation given by the FBI was vague, citing a security issue, but many found this unsatisfactory, given the lack of specific details. What made this event even more intriguing was the fact that six additional solar observatories across the globe were also reportedly shut down around the same time. These observatories, located in Spain, Australia and Hawaii, among other places, were all involved in monitoring solar activity. The simultaneous closure of these facilities, particularly in the context of the Sunspot incident, led to a wave of interesting theories and further fueled public interest in the events. While these observatories were being shut down, amateur skywatchers and astronomers began reporting unusual activity near the Sun. While authorities offered little information, a local resident named Maria made an extraordinary claim that added fuel to the fire. She had photographed a massive disc-shaped craft near the Sun, surrounded by what appeared to be hundreds of smaller objects. The observatory, known for its solar research, had been monitoring the Sun's activity for years. The timing of its sudden closure, coupled with the lack of a clear explanation, led many to believe that something extraordinary had been observed. It was against this backdrop of intrigue and uncertainty that Maria's remarkable sighting came to light. Maria was an amateur astronomer who often spent her evenings observing the night sky. On the day of the observatory's closure, she was outside with her telescope, scanning the skies as she often did. As the sun began to set, Maria noticed something unusual, a massive, disc-shaped object hovering near the sun. The object was enormous, dwarfing anything she had ever seen in the sky before. It had a distinct metallic appearance and was perfectly round, resembling the classic shape of a flying saucer. What made the sighting even more extraordinary was the presence of hundreds of smaller objects surrounding the large disk. These smaller objects appeared to be moving in a coordinated fashion, almost as if they were accompanying or protecting the larger craft. Acting quickly, Maria grabbed her camera and managed to capture several photographs of the strange sight. The images showed the massive disc-shaped craft near the sun, with the smaller objects clearly visible around it. The photographs were sharp and detailed, showing the craft's metallic sheen and the distinct shapes of the smaller objects. Maria, initially hesitant to share her findings, eventually decided to post the photographs online, where they quickly went viral. The images sparked a wave of interest and debate, with some hailing them as definitive proof of advanced activity, while others remained skeptical, suggesting possible explanations ranging from camera artifacts to natural phenomena. The most popular theory among those who viewed Maria's photographs was that the large disc-shaped object and its smaller companions were extraterrestrial in origin. The timing of the sighting, coinciding with the mysterious shutdown of the Sunspot Solar Observatory, led many to believe that the observatory had detected something extraordinary, perhaps even an alien spacecraft, prompting its sudden closure. Proponents of this theory pointed to the object's size, shape, and apparent metallic composition as evidence that it was not of this world. The coordinated movement of the smaller objects suggested advanced technology, possibly a fleet of smaller spacecraft or drones accompanying the larger craft. The fact that the objects were observed near the Sun raised further questions about their purpose and origin, with some speculating that they were harvesting solar energy or observing solar activity. Using telescopes equipped with special filters to observe the Sun safely, these individuals captured images and videos of what appeared to be unidentified flying objects close to the Sun. These objects, often described as spherical or disc-shaped, 
were seen hovering near or even entering the sun's corona. The timing of these sightings with the observatory shutdowns raised eyebrows, leading many to wonder if the two events were connected. There are several theories as to why these observatories were shut down and how it might relate to the reported UFO sightings. One theory suggests that the observatories may have captured images of something near the sun that authorities did not want to be made public. This could include classified military technology or, as some believe, evidence of extraterrestrial activity. Another theory posits that the shutdowns were a precautionary measure due to a potential security breach or cyber attack targeting these sensitive scientific facilities. Some skeptics argue that the observatory closures were unrelated to the UFO sightings and that the timing was merely coincidental. The secrecy surrounding the observatory shutdowns and the vague explanations provided by authorities have led to a decline in public trust. When events of this nature occur without clear communication, it creates a fertile ground for theories to flourish. The lack of transparency has also fueled fears that governments are hiding important information from the public, whether about national security threats or extraterrestrial life. The possibility that the observatory shutdowns were connected to the detection of UFOs near the sun has reinvigorated interest in the search for extraterrestrial life. While the idea of alien spacecraft near the sun may seem far-fetched, the discovery of exoplanets and the ongoing search for biosignatures in distant star systems have made the question of life beyond Earth more scientifically relevant than ever before. If the observatories did indeed capture something unusual, it could represent a significant development in our understanding of the universe. Over the past few decades, the advancement of technology has allowed amateur astronomers to capture increasingly detailed images of the Sun. Using telescopes equipped with special filters to safely observe the Sun, some enthusiasts have reported seeing strange objects in close proximity to our star. These objects often appear as dark or bright spots against the Sun's surface or corona, moving in ways that do not correspond to known celestial bodies or solar phenomena. One of the most striking aspects of these sightings is the size and speed of the objects. Some reports describe them as being massive, with estimates suggesting that they could be several kilometers in diameter. Others have noted that these objects appear to change direction rapidly, exhibiting behaviors that seem to defy the laws of physics as we currently understand them. Such characteristics have led to widespread speculation about their origins and purpose. In addition to amateur observations, some of the most compelling evidence of UFOs near the Sun comes from data collected by NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. Launched in 1995, NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory has been instrumental in monitoring the Sun's activity, providing real-time images of solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and other solar events. However, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory has also captured images of unexplained objects near the Sun, sparking debates within the scientific community and among UFO enthusiasts. These images often show bright, disc-shaped objects or elongated shapes that seem to hover near the Sun or pass by at high speeds. Some appear to be stationary, while others move in straight or curved paths. The fact that these objects are detected by a sophisticated space observatory adds a layer of credibility to the sightings, although NASA has often attributed them to camera artifacts, cosmic rays or debris. Researchers interested in the unknown have suggested that these objects are extraterrestrial spacecraft or probes. Given the Sun's importance as the center of our solar system, it is conceivable that an advanced alien civilization might be interested in studying it. The proximity of these objects to the Sun could suggest that they are harvesting solar energy, observing solar phenomena, or even conducting experiments on a scale far beyond human capability. Proponents of the extraterrestrial hypothesis point to the apparent size, speed, and maneuverability of these objects as evidence that they are not of human origin. The fact that they appear to withstand the extreme heat and radiation of the sun's corona also suggests advanced technology that surpasses anything currently known to humanity. The sightings of UFOs near the sun challenge our understanding of the universe and highlight the limitations of human knowledge. Whether these objects are the result of natural phenomena, advanced technology, or something else entirely, they remind us that there is still much we do not know about our solar system and the cosmos at large. The study of these phenomena could lead to new insights into the nature of space, 
and the forces that govern it. The Apollo program, which culminated in the historic moon landing of Apollo 11 in 1969, is perhaps NASA's most celebrated achievement. However, the Apollo missions also generated some of the most intriguing UFO reports in NASA's history. Multiple Apollo astronauts reported seeing unexplained objects during their missions. One of the most famous incidents occurred during the Apollo 11 mission. During their mission, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins reported seeing a mysterious object trailing their spacecraft. 